So I have a water cooled, my Maker Gear Reprusa. Basically, as you can see it in the mirror, just a short piece of copper pipe wrapped around the hot end. And uh, it's running out these tubes into my aquarium. I'm just running straight aquarium water through it. Figure the gotta pay to heat the aquarium anyhow. Um, I just as well uh, heat it with something that does something interesting like uh, I don't know, print parts. So I uh, just grabbed a quick test print. This is a uh, 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 resistor lead bender um, temp uh, jig. I figured I'd grab it because it's a pretty quick print, about 35 minutes. But a uh, neat thing that works is it's 170 degrees. The print bed's uh, 130 degrees, but the nozzle is only 100. And, what did I say? 107. But I slipped a little thermistor, see the wire here, down into it. Uh, what I'm doing with this is I'm monitoring all the motors, the heat bed, um, ambient air temperature. So the ambient air temperatures, um, well, this is number one. The hot end is number two. Heated bread is number three, but we'll see what the ambient here is in a moment. The ambient is a 71 in here. The hot end's running 110 degrees. Heated bed's running about 120 or 130, I should say. So it's uh, working pretty cool. Um, the only other water cool rep wrap I've heard of is Adrian Bowyer's uh, unit and he's actually got a, a machined hot end it's custom designed to be water cooled and I just grabbed some copper tubing and very carefully bent it around the, uh, the hot end and see what that does for me um, this basically redid the printer tonight so I could run the, the Rolo 1.75, which I haven't been able to mess with for a long while because the cooling fan I had died. And it seems like it's the only one I can find of like this exact shape. Um, ironically enough, this has one back inside, but I didn't realize that. This is actually a recent acquisition, but I didn't realize it. But this thing I hated because it uh, see it sits like this and it blows up but the bottom keeps catching, it keeps sagging so I had to wire it up and all kinds of mess just to try to make it work and it, uh, it just didn't work well. I've knocked prints off and wedged it up once and the uh, PLA, the heat was enough to cause the PLA to say these were around, now they're C-shaving. So much force trying to hold them up. And it worked for a while, but I'm going to try the uh, the water cooling for a while. Um, some of the other things I'd done is I slipped a uh, piece of clear PLA on 1.75 in here. What is wrong? Voltage is low. Alarm voltage. But uh, that brings the LEDs out so I can see the LEDs. I'm just going to tack it out with a little bit of glue into the wooden bed. Um, the mirror's recessed, uh, cut in, so the, the heated bed's actually recessed flush with the top of the wood. So the, the mirror um, sits a lot more flat. So. Let the uh, water flow for the. That's all the water flow is. 
it's all seated. It's still coming out pretty cold. I don't don't have any temperature gauges. Let's see if we can find a two that I can just affix to the tubing. And I can measure the temperature going in, measure the temperature coming out, but it's not a significant uh, temper temperature differential. I mean, this thing just shut off and touching the uh, operas. It's not cool to the touch, it's not warm to the touch, but it's, I can easily touch it. Yeah, that's still hot. I don't want to touch that. But up here, it's just just fine. It just feels, you know, room temperature. Now, it's actually, it's cooled down now. So in that amount of time, it's, it's chilling it down. Um, so I'm really excited about this uh, water cooling. I mean, like, totally, completely and totally tickled. So... Had a bit of a fun time running it. Had to run a pretty tight bend in it. Zip tied here, and I've actually got a zip tie to hold the two zip ties because there's one here and there's one on the other side. So it was really hard to get this bent around in such a way that it clear the corner of this bracket. Oh, a shot. Um, so to clear the corner of this bracket because I wanted a nice gentle bend to get more water flow but it's, uh, it's enough water flow this is going to be printed at I think it's 0 0.05 millimeter layer height for the outside perimeter layers. I think I have a infill multiplier of 6, so it wants to print the infills at 0.3 millimeters. So, printed this in 36 minutes. 36 minutes, 10 seconds. So, it did a good job. Impress. It's a Ultimaker Black PLA. Got the roll up here. I need to make a spool. The um, three millimeter works really well, just letting it pull. But the 1.75 is so thin it wants to just kind of tie up into a knot. So I got to finish printing a roll to get that to print. Got my touch screen. Uh, printer interface. So that's uh, works pretty nice. Got the computer down here that runs it. It's an old uh, Xeon server, 2.2 or 2.4 gigahertz. I need to get a second processor in it because uh, it's also run ZoneMinder and it's kind of busy and it does not like slicing. I am. Uh, print everything upstairs, or slice everything upstairs on the newer, new computer and just uh, share it down to here and just load it off to share and print off this. So, I got, uh, these are Tornado fans I use for my 5 volt load. What I've done is I found a uh, Y cable. See that? It's a Y cable. This one's regular. This one, I crossed the 5 volt and the 12 volt. So this one runs 5 volt for the fans, which normally would run 12 volt. But uh, that way I've got a, a 5 volt load. I don't have to modify the fans. I can plug them in, unplug them as I need, just run the Y. Um, that's a new change today, along with the water cooling and then this um, indicator you know fiber optic style indicator for the, the heat bed those are new I rerouted this and actually integrated the wiring into the wire loom so this is now a permanent fixture in the printer 
and uh, not quite a uh, you know SD card print um, control, but it uh, allows me to experiment with the printer. Let's me know that I know this pr motor is running a lot warmer. This one runs about 100 degrees. Um, the rests are like 80. I think the Y runs like about 85 degrees. These are just above the ambient. Oh, the you know, other thing I did was I drilled holes in my binder clip so the binder clip isn't quite so strong. That was a SpaceX Eula told me about that one um, on the forums. It's like it's a genius uh, modification. It's just so so simple of a way to derate these springs. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to fix that. There we go. Huh? I'll have to fix that. The uh, fiber optic bit is uh, slid in. So that's the current state of the water cooled printer. I'm uh, quite excited. And my uh, fish will be a little bit warmer now. Now I gotta clean this tank up. It looks terrible.